Alright guys, welcome to a new LP. As you can see by the title down below. Uh, there. It, oh, oops, that's a PS1 memory card. Oops, a daisy. Where are my PS2 memory cards at? There's one. There. I like that for the EA games. And Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment. Harry Potter and all related characters and elements are trademarks of Warner Brothers Entertainment Inc. Blah, 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 blah. So, um, as you can see by the title below, we're doing Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. But there was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. Hagrid, at last. And where did you get that motorbike? Borrowed it, Professor Dumbledore, sir. No problems, were there? No, sir. House was almost destroyed, but I got him out all right. Nestled in the bundle was a baby, Harry Potter, the boy who lived. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful Aunt Petunia, Uncle Vernon, and Cousin Dudley, the Dursleys. Then one day, he received a letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Okay, so, as you can see, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. You might be asking yourself, Ryan? Haven't we done a Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone Let's Play? And the answer to that is yes. That was the PS1 version. This here is the PS2 version. And I believe also if it was released on GameCube and Xbox, it's that same version. The, the reason I'm doing this and not doing Harry Potter 2, no. No, no, no. The reason I am doing this and not Harry Potter 2 is because this game is so different from the PS1 version, I figured it deserved its own Let's Play before we end up going on to the next one. Okay, that's all fine. That's all fine. What's extras? No. Oh. oh, yeah, that's right. This That game exists. Do I have that game? I don't know if I have that game. They ended up making a game that is only about Quidditch. I think it's called Harry Potter Quidditch World Cup. Or is this the um, trailer for Harry Potter 2? No, I think this... Might be the Quidditch World Cup, yeah. Look at how cool this looks. <laughs> that guy was smart. Yeah, Harry Potter Quidditch World Cup, yeah. That's a game. I don't know if I have it, but that that might be something we'll do later. Okay, but let's start a new game. So you're going to see like the same sort of story beats throughout the game, but like the way that it's designed um, and the various missions that you actually end up going on, very different from the PS1 game. I think this was also released on the PC. Told you, didn't I, Harry? Told you you was famous. Professor Quirrell. Harry, Professor Quirrell will be one of your teachers at Hogwarts. Potter, I can't tell you how pleased I am to meet you. What sort of magic do you teach, Professor Quirrell? D -d Defense against the dark arts. Not that you need it, eh, P Potter? You'll be getting all your equipment, I suppose. 
I've got to pick up a new book on vampires myself. Must get on, lots to buy. Come on, Harry. All right, so what is this going to start us with? Three up to a cross. Right, stand back, Harry. It looks better than the for, than the PS1 game. And that's thanks well, to the trusty PS2. Diagon Alley. Just your wand left from Ollivanders. Oh yeah, and I still haven't got your birthday present. Hello? Good afternoon. Ah yes. Yes, yes. I thought I'd be seeing you soon, Harry Potter. You have your mother's eyes. It seems only yesterday she was in here herself, buying her first wand. Ten and a quarter inches long, swishy, made of willow. Nice wand for charm work. Your father, on the other hand, favored a mahogany wand. Well, I say your father favored it. It's really the wand that chooses the wizard, of course. Well now, Mr. Potter, let's get started, shall we? If you'll kindly follow me. Have a look around, Mr. Potter. When you find a wand you like, pick it up, and let's see if it likes you. Alright, so we have three different wands. Maybe four? Okay. The flashing icon in the corner of your screen is the Remember All. You can access this at any time by pressing Select. When it flashes, it means you have a new task. So, let your wand choose you at all of Vander's. Uh, so, it looks like we have Folio Magi, Complete Tasks and Hints, School Record. Um, oh, we have a map. That's nice. Notice Board, and that is it right now. As well as reminding you of tasks, your Remember All shows you all the items in your that you have collected in your inventory. You can also check the Completed Task and Hint message for things you've already received. Okay, how does it... Oh, wow, that is... Damn quick. Okay. Ebony and unicorn hair. Eight and a half inches. Springy. Let's pick it up. Because this is not our wand. Stand over there on that platform to try your wand. Circle. <laughs> Oops. My goodness. Definitely not. Oopsie. All right, so they're going to they're going to shuffle again. Holly and Phoenix feather. That's not the one we wanted to use. Beechwood and Dragon Heartstring. 9 inches. Nice and flexible. Let's do this one. That one's not a bad look for the wand. Triangle. No, definitely not. So that kind of gives you a hint of like, oh, hey, glass bottles will be breakable. All right, so we only have one other. Ebony There's the ebony and unicorn hair. I think this is ours. Holly and Phoenix feather. Eleven inches. Nice and supple. <laughs> the books are just all over the ground. <laughs> Sorry, but what curious? I remember every wand I've ever sold, Mr. Potter. Every single wand. It so happens that the phoenix, whose tail feather is in your wand, gave another feather. Just one other. 
It is very curious indeed that you should be destined for this wand when it's brother. Wyatt's brother gave you that scar. Yes. Curious indeed how these things happen. The wand chooses the wizard, remember. I think we must expect great things from you, Mr. Potter. After all, he who must not be named did great things. Terrible, yes, but great. Please retrieve the spell book that lies beyond. It will prove most valuable in all that lies ahead. Okay. So our, like, platforming tutorial. Over here, Mr. Potter. Doesn't he have... Okay, gain the Flipendo spell. Doesn't he have other customers? You could bother them. Harry can move along narrow ledges and through narrow gaps. Push Harry until his back is against the wall and then move him sideways. Pretty bots every flavor of beans are all kinds of places. Use them to buy things at Fred and George's shop when you get to Hogwarts. Mm, coconut. Booger flavor. Yuck. Now we are going to fail the jumping tutorial um, at some point. Sometimes when you want to line up the camera for a jumper quickly, see what's in front of you, you can move the camera behind them by pressing L1. Okay, good to know. Because I'm pretty sure that there's more... Um, uh, there's more beans down on the bottom. That we're gonna want to get. Uh, oh, sprout. Ugh, yuck. Mm, toast. Yeah, like down here, there's a corner. So you know, uh, Harry can climb up and down ladders. Press the X button to grab one. I thought there might have also been like a hidden chest or something that may have had a wizard card. Although I could be thinking of the wrong game. I might be thinking of game two where there's a wizard card in the barn, I believe. Okay, why well, can't turn around there? Or like, yeah, like down there would have been a great place for a wizard card. Yuck. Oh, more beans though. Yuck. Grass flavor. Oh, grass is probably not the worst flavor though. Okay, nothing there. I don't think I'm. I was supposed to get there. Or like this is full dark. This would have been a great place for a hidden treasure chest. Okay, I think we're good. We've been all over the ground floor. So. And we'll finish off this uh, this jumping tutorial. Alright, easy peasy. And we'll wait. There we go. Really? Really? That's not what I want. Why are you not? There we go. All right, 35. We got a spell book. Oh, 
bravo. Yes, indeed. Oh, very good. Well done, Mr. Potter. Once you learn some more powerful magic, you'll be able to cast more powerful flippendo knockback jinxes. You have a new spell, Flipendo. You can assign it to square, triangle, or circle by pressing the button now. Uh, spells or equipment can also be assigned in the inventory screen. Okay, we're gonna do, we're gonna do Flipendo at square because that's the best uh, that's the best place for me. Okay. If you'd kindly follow me. Now I'll see if I can like, can I save the game? No matter, I can. Oh, there's no specific points that I need to save at. That's awesome. All right. File created successfully. This file contains three save files, which the game can be progressed. Okay. So we're going to put it right there. All right. And let's just take a look, like, see if we have, like, a percentage or something. 2% complete. All right. So I like, uh... I like games that tell me that. So uh, when we come back, more of this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.